video, we are going to discuss about the most important concept, verb to web. So now look at this. So what do you understand from this? So you can see that here there is red and here I have uh, red, yellow and green. The corresponding uh, red column is one and the remaining two are basically zeros. So again, there is red, one, zero, zero. Again, there is yellow. So I'm having zero, one, zero, and then green. Uh, you can see that zero, zero, one. So next for this yellow, it's going to be zero, one, zero, right? So very simple. So something it is uh, converting a text into numbers. That's what I could figure out from that. So let us try to understand what it is, right? Fine. So word to work is not a single algorithm. And it is an algorithm that takes corpora as an input and outputs it in the form of vectors, right? So uh, technically speaking, word to vec is a model to form or create word embedding. So it's a modern way of representing word. And each word is represented by a vector. Uh, vector in the sense, what array of numbers based upon embedding size? So the vectors are nothing but the weights of neurons. So if we said neurons of size 100, then we will be having 100 weights. And those weights are our word embeddings or simply dense vector. So this is not a single algorithm, but here we can talk about two uh, techniques, the most important techniques, CBOW, uh, skip gram model. CBOW means what? Continuous bag of words. And the next one is skip gram model. So both these are shallow neural networks which map uh, uh, words to the target variable, which is also a word. So both of these techniques uh, learn weights which act as word vector representations. So, so basically it tries to find out a relation. It could be semantic relation or it could be a syntactic relation between the words, which was not possible by our traditional TF idea or frequency-based approach. So when we train this model, each one heart encoded word gets a point in a dimensional space where it learns and groups the word with a similar meaning. So here the neural network is in, uh, incorporated here is a shallow. So one thing to note here is that we need large textual data to pass into word to vec model to find out the relation within words or generate meaningful results. So what are we trying to do over here is word to vector is basically trying to find out the relationship, uh, semantic relationship or syntactic relationship. So let us try to understand this, right? So uh, uh, still I can uh, tell about this, right? You can see this over here, right? So here, uh, what is the context word and target word, context word? So I like natural language processing now here what is happening the natural language processing i like natural language processing i like natural language processing what this uh, basically tells us right so what this basically tells us that's what uh, we are trying to identify just look at this and whatever is coming to your mind you can just tell me Right, so if you look into this, you could uh, no, figure out, uh, uh, can you figure out something from this? Yes, right. So this is what the word to vec tells us. Next, let us try to understand CBOW, which means continuous bag of words. So the way continuous bag of words work is that it tries to predict the probability of a word in a a uh, given context, right? So this, uh, the way C, B, O, W, that is continuous bag of words. Work is that it tries to predict the probability of a word given a context, right? So a context may be a single word or could be a group of words. Uh, but for simplicity, I'll take a, a single context word and try to predict a single target word. So suppose we have a corpus uh, C, which is equal to K, K, uh, this is, this is a sample 
corpus using only one context word right fine so the same thing i have written over here you can see that the input is over here and the matrix here will be containing so here it is showing us the you uh, know n n one heart encoded uh, a code so this is basically the output right so the matrix shown in the uh, in this image is actually sent to three layers so one could be the input layer the second one could be hidden layer third one is output layer the output layer is a softmax layer which is used to sum the probabilities obtained in the output layer to one so now let us try to understand what has happened over here uh, like uh, uh, so the corpus is converted into a training uh, set for cbow model so the input is uh, given below Uh, the matrix on the right in the below image i mean this image is basically giving me the uh, one heart encoded right so below image in the sense like uh, uh, from data point 1 data point 2 what we can understand over here hey this is the hey this is sample right so this hey this sample is corpus right so this is how we will be getting it yes so what's happening here now uh the target for single data point uh, say for example here uh, i have uh, this one right so in case if i write for this one what i am getting zero and for sample alone uh, for uh, see uh, this is what this is what we are getting for each and every case right so the matrix uh, shown in this above image Uh, can be sent into a shallow neural network with uh, three layers right so input layer hidden layer and the output layer right and here the output layer is a softmax layer and uh, which is used to find out the probabilities obtained in the output layer right so now the uh, here what we can try is the flow is as follows so the input layer and the target so both are one heart encoded of size 1 into b where v is equal to 10 right so here we are talking about uh, no uh, this case basically so there will be two sets of weights one weights one is between the input and the hidden layer the uh, second one could be uh, between hidden and the output layer so input hidden layer matrix size is v into n hidden output layer matrix size is n into v so what is the n here number of dimensions we choose to represent our word in and it is arbitrary right so here what is the uh, uh, n over here n is actually 4 right so there is no activation function between the layers so now the uh, input is being multiplied by the input hidden weights and called as hidden activation so basically it is uh, just the corresponding row the hidden hidden matrix uh, input hidden matrix copied right so now what will happen the hidden input gets multiplied by hidden output weight and the output is being calculated now the error between output and target is being calculated and propagated back so we know about back propagation right so the weight between the hidden layer and the output layer is taken as the word vector representation of the word right so this is what happen here so this is basically for a single context word now if we have multiple context words how does it work right so that is what the question uh, that comes to our mind right so here uh, you can see the three context words and it predict the probability of a target word so the input can be uh, assumed as uh, taking uh, three one heart encoded vectors in the input layer Uh, like it could be red blue or green so the three input layer will have three one cross v vectors in the input and one one cross v uh, in the output layer so the remaining everything will be same as for one context cbow right so the steps will be the same the calculation of hidden activation will change so just um, uh, uh, instead of copying the corresponding rows of the input the hidden weight matrix to the hidden layer Uh, instead of that an average is being taken and the corresponding uh, the average is taken over all the corresponding rows of the matrix right so the average vector is being calculated 
and it becomes the activation hidden hidden activation so say for example if we have a three context words for a single target word we will have three initial hidden activations so, so which will be averaged element wise to obtain the final activation so uh, basically in both a single context word and multiple context word we can see the images like a how uh, how that basically changes right so here it is single it is for multiple right so basically we will try to understand the difference between mlp and uh, cbow so mlp we know that it is uh, the uh, objective function is basically msc that is mean square error uh, but in cbow it is basically a negative log likelihood of a word that is given in a, a set of context right so log p uh, wo by wi right so what is this basically means like uh, this is equal to exponential of this so what is this uh, wo means wo is nothing but the output word divided by and wi means the context words right so here we will be getting the gradient right so that is with respect to the hidden output weights and input hidden weights so both will be different because mlp has sigmoid activations but cbow has no has linear activations right so mlp has sigmoid activations but cbow has linear activation so the method everything is uh, almost the same so the advantages of cbow is it is uh, uh, probabilistic in nature and uh, uh, it is supposed to perform superior to the deterministic methods and its memory is low and it does not since its memory is low it does not require huge ram requirements and all uh, like a co-occurrence matrix because it need to uh, store uh, three huge matrices right so what are the advantages of cbow it takes the average of the context of a word and uh, say for example ample it can be a fruit or a company but cbow takes an average of both context and uh, places and places it in between a cluster for fruits and companies so, so training a cbow from scratch can take it forever if not properly optimized right so the next one is about the skip gram model. So it also follows the same, almost similar to CBOW, but there is just a flip on the architecture. Here it is to predict the context given a word. So a word is given, it tries to predict the context. So say same corpus will be taken and using that we build uh, like what we will be, we are going to take the same corpus that we build, uh, no, uh, CBOW. Hey, this is sample corpus using only one context word, right? So here you can see that the output context one, what are you getting this, uh, right? This, and then here, hey, right? Uh, this I have written, and then this is being hey, right? Again, this is sample corpus using only one context, right? So let us try to understand what this is. So here the input vector for skip gram is going to be similar to one context CBOW model. And here the calculations are up to hidden layer activations are going to be the same. So what is the difference here? The difference will be the target variable. So we have defined a context window of one on both sides. So there will be only two one heart encoder target variables and two corresponding outputs. It can be seen by the, it can be easily seen, right? So two separate errors are calculated with respect to the two target variables and the or uh, two error vectors uh, you know, are obtained element wise uh, to obtain a final uh, uh, vector, uh, which is propagated back to update the weights, right? So the weights between the input and the uh, hidden layers are taken as the word vector representation after training. So the last function is going to be the same as CBOW model, right? So in case if you want to understand it better, uh, like a uh, you can look into this uh, no, matrix style structure. So let us try to uh, break down this image. You can see an input image of uh, size one cross V, input hidden weight matrix of size V cross N, which is nothing but the number of neurons in the hidden layer N. And hidden output uh, weight matrix size N cross V, right? So the output layer will be C of one cross V. So here we can say that C is the number of context words that I basically I have taken two and V is going to be 10 and N is equal to four, right? N is equal to four. Hope it is clear. So now here the row in the red, right? So this is 
the hidden activation corresponding to the input one hot encoded vector. So it is basically the corresponding row of input hidden matrix copied. So the yellow matrix is the weight between the hidden layer and the output layer, right? Uh, the blue matrix is obtained by the matrix multiplication of hidden activation and the hidden output weight. So there will be two rows calculated for two target words. So each of the each of the uh, each row of the blue matrix is converted into its softmax probabilities uh, individually, like a green box, right? So the gray matrix uh, contains the one hot encoded vectors of the uh, two context words uh, that is target, right? So the error is uh, calculated by subtracting the first row of the gray matrix uh, from the first row of the green matrix, right? Uh, and it could be done uh, element wise. So this is repeated for the next row. So therefore, uh, n target context words we will be having n error vectors. So element wise sum is taken over all the error vectors to obtain a final error model. So this error vector is propagated back to the, back to update the weights, right? Uh, so the skip gram model can uh, capture two semantics for a single word. Basically, it will try to have a two vector representations of Apple. One is for the Apple company and the other one is for the product. And the next one is skip gram with a negative subsampling out performs every other method generally so uh, basically like uh, this cp uh, cbow and skip skip gram are really and uh, no uh, very important to understand because these concepts are really important so the word embeddings or word vectors are basically the numerical representations of contextual similarities between words so how it will work is like it will be finding the degree of similarity between two words and it will be finding the odd one out, right? It will be finding the odd one out and say that model doesn't match. And amazing things like is like uh, uh, we will be seeing this uh, women plus king minus man so that it will identify and tell us that it is a queen and probability of a text under the model also it will give, right? So it can also be used for a machine translation, right? Uh, so I hope this is uh, clear to you. This is clear to you, right? We have uh, uh, seen word to vec, CBOW, and uh, uh, basically uh, no, uh, Ngram model. And I hope you really enjoyed this session.